Hi all, let's have another in a five minute nutshell chess game. This is back in 1910. Richard Retty, one of the leading hypermodernists, if you, if you know the Retty opening, named after Richard Retty. But here he played e4 and his opponent was Savely Tartagoa, who was famous for all these witty uh, chess quotations. So a clash of two very interesting characters in Vienna, 1910. So we have here e4 from Richard Retty instead of his knight f3. C6, D4, D5, Karakhan, Knight C3, pretty standard so far. Takes, takes. Now Knight F6, inviting uh, double pawns. White plays a very uh, curious move. In light, but this is way down the list. Uh, usually Knight takes F6 or Knight G3. These are two of the most popular. In fact, Knight takes F6 is by far the most popular with over 2,000 games. Knight G3, only 77. And then they fade away. This game is a very very rare move here queen d3 okay now the queen might be okay in the center if knight takes but black tries to exploit this uh, position with e5 quickly opening up the bishop and you might wonder well what's the point is this is this is this some tactical point because surely white can just take this and the point is not to take on d3 because then bishop takes and we're protecting the knight that would actually be fine uh, for white the point though black played check and this check means actually hold on a sec isn't there a nasty pin after queen takes e5 but white here uh, seems to just maybe He's consoled with um, his, his potentially difficult position. What does he do? Does he protect the knight? Isn't b2 hanging, for example? Um, what he does is actually castle queen side. Now, clearly, queen takes e4, runs into rook e1. So that's to be avoided. So black played knight takes e4, maybe not estimating white's possibilities here. Can you see? A fantastically crushing move which is maybe what would you think is a very very strong move in this position maybe black expected some sort of routine move like rookie one is it rookie one or is it something else if I give you five seconds starting from now okay it's Queen d8 check this creates the mighty tactic which maybe we underestimate called the double check which severely restricts the opponent's candidate moves when we create a double check situation can you see the double check situation how can we exploit it here there's two ways of playing a double check so-called double check now which one is the killer do you think there's one which is a killer and there's one which isn't. Okay, this one is not the killer. It double checked, but maybe king e7 and the king's got e6. But the way it was played, it's actually bishop g5 double check. So it severely restricts the opponent's options. Now, if king e8, then rook d8 is checkmate. We have king c7, and can you see it runs into bishop d8, check, mate. A beautiful little gem. This is in the best of the best, according to Chess Gamescom, and they called it Sucker Punch. It seemed black was setting a trap with this queen a5 to uh, e5, but uh, in fact it was white that was setting a more concealed trap, making use of that amazing tactical resource the double check which really severely restricts the opponent's candidate move options but it has to be the right one the most effective double check here is this one amazing stuff a gem in chess history between two great characters of the game comments questions likes appreciated thanks very much